Hey there gamers, Mark Lone Gamer here. And this time we are here to reintroduce you all to one of our Skyrim heroes, heroines, who has not been very active in the past couple of years actually, or a year or so. But that's going to change very soon because we are bringing her back along with another heroine. But in this case, yes, I want those new viewers here, and we, we do have a lot to get to know our heroine here. Celine Chiron, aka Silk, who is the title character of The Deceiver. So she is our Dunmer illusionist, Archmage, Master of Deception. And Celine has actually, or well, Silk, has actually not had that long to adventure here in Skyrim. Um, her LP or her, her roleplay series is uh, just below 30 episodes. So she hasn't been around long but I know that she has a lot of fans who really want to see her in action again. Now Celine, Celine's story is fairly simple. She was the daughter of a master criminal in Morrowind. Not really a evil guy, more of just a gentleman thief. A master illusionist as well. And um, Celine, or uh, well, Silk, really expected and wanted to learn his craft. Unfortunately, things happened and he died or was murdered by the Morag Tong. And that's why Celine here has a bit of a vendetta against him. Anyway, she left Morrowind and came here when she learned that her father had a friend who was also a master of illusion and thus she wants to learn the craft from him. So she sold all her possessions, probably sold her house or whatever land that she owned in Morrowind and came to Skyrim. And she arrived at the College of Winterhold. And there she found that uh, the professor was uh, Drevis Naloran who probably doesn't remember her father or or her if she ever met him but he was a very good illusionist teacher and from him she learned a lot and she has since become probably the most powerful illusionist in all of Skyrim and uh, as much as ordinator can allow this this lady is powerful and uh, she can basically cause an entire town to eat itself. Uh, that's how powerful she is. Of course, she's not without her weaknesses. She's still just a very vulnerable Dunmer lady and uh, very, very, very squishy. I think she'll probably need to fix that eventually somehow and uh, ramp up her survivability along with other skills but I do not want her to become just master of every spell um, illusion should always be her main form of attack and defense uh, or at least offense but I think we'll want her to get other skills and abilities to help her survive, especially if he's going to go on some of the more difficult quests in Skyrim. So we'll see how that goes. Now, um, sometime early on, she did travel with a crew, uh, a war band, which actually was a bit of a medium for her magic because there is a spell called a spectral war band which basically doubles her followers but she 
she eventually um, decided to disband them first for now and just travel with a single follower so right now she's just traveling with basically a bodyguard that's Lydia and uh, we'll see uh, maybe she'll do more uh, followers for Celine here it's a bit of a open uh, question what she's going to do next basically she's traveling uh, mostly to generate more coin because being an archmage is uh, a comfortable life. She has her own uh, quarters, very luxurious dwelling and status and a place where she can perfect her magic, but it doesn't come with much income. She has to find income on her own, so if she wants to continue to research new spells, acquire new abilities and... and uh, do more enchanting she's going to need more money so adventuring is the most uh, profitable thing that she can do because she does not have a business uh, sense hey, inside her me. head I'm too much magic knowledge so that's one of her uh, motivations on traveling is to make as much money and treasure as possible in most whatever ways that she can do she might be a bit ruthless but she probably won't murder or kill someone in cold blood <coughs> unless they're bandits or something uh, to get to get by so she's not quite as uh, good-hearted as say Velvi but she's not totally evil uh, as well but it will be something to uh, see how far how low she'll go in order to carry out her goals and where she's headed because right now Silk is a bit of a loose cannon in Skyrim but someone as powerful as the Deceiver is not someone who's going to be sidelined for long well not more than a year at least in any case, if you haven't checked out The Deceiver, the series, I do hope that you can to get yourself up to speed to Silk's adventures because she is going to be back in action very soon.